everybody, Hillary here again from The Cookie Countess. We're on day two of our Facebook Live week, and uh, today I'm going to talk about mixing airbrush colors. So we'll give it a, a minute or so to let people join in before I really get into it. Um, but I did want to uh, tell you guys one thing before we started. I don't know if you know this, but we do have our own app. We have a, uh, Apple and Android app. So just go to your Apple Store or Google Play and uh, click uh, search for the Cookie Countess. And we have um, everything that's on the website is on here. You can even get to our recipes from here if you want to. Or you can search by product. There's a search button up here which makes it easy. Um, so just want to point that out. So go download the app. Sometimes we send push notifications and uh, who knows, you might get a special sale code or something like that. So download that. So how are we doing? We have people on, hello. <laughs> Let us know where you guys are watching from. Um, still haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do um, tomorrow and Friday. So if you still have requests, I have a couple things in mind, but I could easily be persuaded to do something else. So if you still have requests, let me know on what you would um, like to see for the last two days of our live extravaganza. So again, today I'm gonna to talk about mixing airbrush colors. I don't think this will be as long as yesterday. There's really honestly not a whole lot to it. I'm gonna mostly talk about or reference um, the Cookie Countess airbrush colors, but you know the same principles apply to whatever brand of airbrush color you're using. So. A lot of people don't realize you can mix your airbrush color. So it's just like um, when you're making a custom color of royal icing. You might use you know, two or three different base colors to get the color you want. You can do the same thing with an airbrush color. So here's some examples of some that I made. Um, I've had a lot of questions about making pastels. You can definitely make a pastel airbrush color. So for example, um, we've got a baby blue, which was done by using um, some white and some true blue. So a lot of people maybe don't buy the white airbrush color because it doesn't necessarily cover as like a true white. Um, but it's great for mixing with uh, other colors. Uh, hang on one second. Yep, okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> Another example of a mixed color I have here is a mint uh, green, which was, again, it was white. Whoops, sorry. Just looking at my chart to make sure I don't say the wrong thing. And uh, true blue and a little bit of yellow. So on our website, we do have um, under tutorials, there is a page that shows some color charts for mixing. If you want to reference these in the future. Um, Another one that I did up today, also in a cookie for you to see, is rose gold. So I know rose gold is like really popular right now. So I did it on some paper cards. I also did it out on a cookie uh, for you to see. So this was maybe not what you think. It doesn't have any gold in it. It was a pretty pearl with a dab of brown and a dab of countess pink. So mostly, it's the pearl. Um, if I go and look at my color chart, I have it as about 30 parts pearl to one part brown and two parts pink. So what's a part? Well, for me, I was counting drops. These do drop really nicely. Um, so you can count it that way. If you have to make up a big batch of it, uh, you can count another way if you want to, like on something that's more like, you know, two to one, you might do two teaspoons to one teaspoon, something like that. Um, any questions you want to, John's coming again today. Where do you get those today. paper cards? Amazon, right? Oh, yeah, they're just, um, they're uh, coasters that I bought on Amazon. Actually, Ginny from the Creative Cookie is the one that turned me on to these as a great way to um, practice your airbrushing, practice stenciling. Uh, so if you need practice, maybe pick these up, pretend they're a cookie. Um, I actually usually use them where I'll put one on top of my not a cookie, so it really gives it like the height of a cookie and then use my stencil genie and my stencil and airbrush on that. That's how I did, you know, all of these. If someone was really ambitious too, this would be a great thing to add to your um, stencil binder. 
If you bought one of the cookie counter stencil binders, you could airbrush a card with the design and um, throw that in in the page so you can really see it um, right off the bat. So, okay, so how do you mix the airbrush color? Any other questions before I like, keep going? No? People watching? Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching, let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see. Um, I got to read a lot of the comments later uh, last night and saw lots of um, cool places people were watching from. So, to mix, um, I definitely recommend that you use a separate container to do this in. We sell these um, little bottles. Uh, these are two ounce bottles to mix in. Um, for example, I have some rose gold in here. I have like a kind of a sage mint green in here. And um, one thing I will say, if you are gonna mix a custom color and you're using it on a lot of cookies, definitely mix up a big enough batch that will at least cover your cookies and then some because the hardest thing would be, it, like this is probably happening with icing, if you do a custom icing color, it's really hard to go back and match that exact color if you run out. So I definitely recommend mixing up probably more than you need. It's not gonna go bad. You'll, you'll be able to keep it in your container. Um, so we sell these, they have a nice little flip cap or you can probably find them you know, at a local craft store. They're not that hard to, to find. And um, I had a lot of questions about pastels, so why don't I just start by doing um, a lavender. So for example. Oh, somebody wants to know if you, if you can cover with white ever. The, um, you know, my answer to this is always, can you use royal icing? Because um, even the best white royal uh, airbrush color, which I do think is the dinky doodle white, has the best cover in what you're, what you're asking for. Um, it's still not like white white as if you know it's it's not this white over a blue so I always try to ask people can you use royal icing or can you reverse the design so you know in like for example um, if you're doing a quatrefoil instead of having a blue background and do the white lines can you do a white background and do the blue so just kind of think of it that way it's just gonna save yourself um, a lot of aggravation really more than anything or go with royal icing white royal icing always covers great so to make lavender you are now bear in mind when you do um, pastels it's a lot of white to very little color so you're gonna start and I'm not gonna count these out um, I'm basically gonna start I'm gonna put a decent amount in here and then, so I didn't count that up by, oops, by drops, but. Um, now, how many ounces approximately did you just put in? Like, like, oh. a, like a half ounce, um, maybe? Those are, ours yeah. are, because ours are two ounce I guess bottles, about a half ounce. So you get a lot more than the standard. I'm probably being a little generous, but, um, but again, if you have a lot of cookies to do, you may need that much. Um, and then I'm gonna take my purple just add, and start with like one drop. You'll be surprised at how much um, or how little a color it takes to make a lavender. So I'm gonna start with one. So if you want something really pale and subtle, there you go. If you want something a little more intense, maybe we'll do one more drop. So just mix slowly. You know, start with the main color. Oops, I keep doing that. <laughs> and then add in what your um, next color is going to be. And these will keep, you know, once you mix this up, you don't have to worry about throwing this out. Um, it may actually separate a little bit, so you may need to just give it a good shake next time you go to use it. Uh, so again, we got a little bit darker. If we wanted to go even darker, we could add another drop. Should we keep it here or should we go darker? Maybe for the sake of the camera, we'll make it a little bit darker. You can still see it okay. Oops, I did two drops. Oops, okay. <laughs> Someone wants to know, what's the best airbrush gun? Ours. <laughs> the Cookie Countess. Here it is, right here. It's a great airbrush gun. It's a great price. It's $114.99. Um, it has a dial, really easy to use. Goes um, from four psi up to about twenty six psi. Uh, we've sold a ton of them. People are really, really happy with it. So if you want to check your color, 
You can use um, you can use a paper towel. You could use one of the coasters if you want to. So these bottles are nice because they have a little dropper. We can just drop it right into the um, airbrush gun. Tiffany, we do have uh, we do sell replacement guns. I've got more coming in a couple weeks. We ran out. They're twenty four ninety nine. So here's our lavender. Turn that up a little bit. So again, if you wanted this darker, you could continue to add a little bit more purple to it. Um, it's beaded up a little bit just because we're on paper here, but this will dry nicely. Uh, but isn't that pretty? So, I mean, it really is that simple. Um, pastels are crazy easy because it's just going to be, you know, white with another drop of something else added in. Um, if you're going to get into, you know, stuff like making the rose gold, it's a little more, um, I guess, exact or rather, uh, I don't know, there's more steps to it, not quite as easy, but it's not that hard. So um, th the biggest thing I would say is don't be afraid to experiment. So I get a lot of questions, you know, can I mix, how do I make this color? And, um, you know, there's great resources online for color charts. If you don't have a good sense of color, um, if you want to look up, okay, how do I mix a teal? Uh, do I need blue and green or do I need blue and yellow? Um, uh, Sugar Bell has some great color charts on her blog, as well as Lila Loa has some wonderful ones. Um, I would definitely check those out. But again, definitely just experiment and have fun. If, in, um, one, one other trick I'll show you you can do if you want to try... Um, your hand at kind of mixing the color but you're not committing to doing a whole lot of color yet is you could mix it up in your gun just a teeny bit. So I'm gonna just... Um, How come you don't do Periscope anymore? <laughs> well there's a lot more people on Facebook so I've been getting a lot more requests for Facebook. Um, but I haven't abandoned Periscope completely. <laughs> Uh, here's a trick. If you work with your airbrush gun and you don't work near a sink, um, use a little spray bottle to clean out your gun. I do this a lot at trade shows um, or have like a trash bag next to you. Here, I'll just do this for now. But um, And keep spraying it until it runs clean. Uh, I know here at our house we have a cookie. Um, I have a cookie decorating room, but there's no sink in the room, so I'll use a spray bottle to... Um, wash out my gun. So let's say you want to do, um, let's see, let's see, let's say you wanted to do this like emerald green color um, and you only needed it for like a tiny little detail or you were just testing the colors. You could do it in your gun. It's not going to give you a lot of color, but. Um, hey, can you try that drop thing where you're doing like a drop and then another drop? <laughs> what? I mean, I, I'm not experimenting a lot. Huh. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the gold and add it right to your well. So I'm going to fill this up about three quarters of the way, maybe. Don't fill it all the way at the top if you're trying this. And then um, get what your next color is. Add this in. I'm going to do one drop. One, one and a half. <laughs> and then uh, turn your airbrush machine on. Get like a paper towel or something so you don't ruin your, your manicure. And um, cover the front of this so the, the air oops, kicks back into the... Huh? My finger. So the air, can you see the air is kicking back into the, um, the well and it's mixing the color for you. So if you literally only need this for like a tiny detail or you're kind of testing colors, um, this is one way you can kind of do it. Right. And then we've got our like emerald green. All right. Yes, you can just clean your gun with water. If it's like gets really dirty or it's not working, you can clean the parts like soak them in vodka or something that goes faster. Uh, someone wants you to troubleshoot shimmer colors and can I use airbrush? Regular and metallic for royal icing and buttercream. Yes. Okay, yes for royal icing, yes for buttercream, both. Yeah. Um, so here's like our shimmery yeah. kind of emerald green. 
Wasn't that cool? So I probably, you know, have enough to do like two full cookies with that. Um, if you have trouble with your um, sheens uh, clogging, make sure that, A, make sure that your gun is completely cleaned. Um, make sure that you have your air pressure up all the way. Like right now I have mine on high. If I turn this down to low, um, you can kind of hear it sputters a little bit. Uh, it works best on high, really, and just not pulling the trigger back all the way. Um, yeah, if you have this all the way up, your control is still really in, in here and in pulling back. And I have a, a, a few really good videos on this on the website under airbrushing uh, if you want to check those out. But, um, you know, make sure your, your whole gun is clean. We have a video on cleaning the gun. And then um, make sure your air pressure is up high to make sure you have enough air to push it out. Tiffany, try, I mean, just try having your gun on a higher level and, and doing it. If the, the needle isn't clean or that tip isn't clean, the little one that screws off the front. Um, All of this has to be on tight. I'm not going to take this apart and do that now, um, but we do have, we, uh, we do have good video, videos and I can put links in the comments after this on how to troubleshoot. But um, if everything's in properly, you shouldn't be having a problem. What other questions were there? Is that it? All right. Um, oh, I did have another question about um, someone wanted to know about mixing uh, Dinky Doodle with a water-based. And um, you can do that. So you can mix any water-based with any other water-based. So like if you have a Cookie Countess color and you want to mix it with a Chef Master, um, you can. That's fine. If you um, mix Dinky Doodle, so uh, if you don't know, Dinky Doodle is another brand that we sell. This is an alcohol base. Um, it is not a water base like most other colors. Advantages being that you can use this on chocolate and it dries practically instantly because the alcohol evaporates as it um, sprays. So can you mix this uh, with this? You can mix it. I did it on this cookie um, on here. I mixed sage green with some white to get um, this lighter green so it did um, it did dry not as quickly as it would if it was just uh, dinky doodle so it dried more like a water base um, it didn't have any like ill effects to the icing mixing it or anything in here mixing it um, but I will say you're kind of getting rid of the the point of the dinky doodle and why you paid more for it which is usually because it dries instantly so if you mix this with the water base, you can't use it on chocolate at that point because the water will beat up. Um, you can still use it on real ice, you can still use it on fondant, but if you, you know, if that's all you have is a dinky doodle and another thing and you need to mix it, go right ahead. But, um, but if it were me, I kind of would try to, you know, mix with a water base um, because you, you know, they're about half the price of the dinky doodle. Does that make sense? So, but you can do it, yes. And like I said before, experiment. You know, you guys can definitely try, um, you know, all this at home and come up with your own great colors and just have fun with it. It should be fun. <laughs> so our gun would probably work with the Cake Boss one, right? Isn't that a hose? Um, it should, yeah. If, as long as it has um, this kind of attachment, it'll, and it, I think the cake, I mean, it'll certainly work with a compressor because it's a single action gun. Um, I think it does just have this kind of pop-on hose attachment, so our replacement guns would work with the cake bus. Yeah, yeah well, we have those on order. Any, um, any other questions? So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you missed yesterday's uh, live video about Royal Ice Inconsistencies, it's still in the feed. I did actually upload it to YouTube. Um, a few people requested that. And I'll make sure it gets on our site under video tutorials too, as um, I will do with this one too. So thanks you guys for watching and um, have fun mixing your airbrush colors. Have a great day.